octopuses are pretty famous for their mysterious biology. They are thought to be very knowledgeable, with the ability to learn, use resources, and recall places. The word octopus comes from the Greek, octopus, meaning eight foot, which resembles their shape and eight arms. They have been around for a long time, according to evidence found in fossils from the Cambrian period, 500 million years ago. Their ancestors had a shell at one time, they lost it during the late Jurassic period, 140 million years ago. The oldest known fossil of the octopus belongs to animals lived in the Carboniferous era some 296 million years ago. Octopuses had already formed their form over the millions of years ahead, long before life on the ground had moved beyond puny pre-dinosaur reptiles. They have near magical ability to instantly alter colors, skin patterns, and forms. Their skin contains chromatophores, which allow them to change color and pattern. Octopuses have big, complicated nervous systems and their biology makes them extremely clever problem solvers. They have three hearts and two of them pump blood to the gills and the other circulates blood across the body. Octopus blood is blue because it has a copper-based protein called hemocyanin. In addition to their primary brain, each of the eight arms has a mini-brain that permits it to function independently. In fact, two-thirds of their neurons are in its arms rather than its head. They are composed mostly of muscle, and since they lack bones, they can pass into very narrow openings. Which makes them great escape artists. Octopuses are semelparous animals, meaning they breed once and then die. They only live for a short time after mating and giving birth, and they die soon after. Females sometimes kill and eat their mates after mating. This is why males prefer external fertilization. Females can lay up to 400,000 eggs, which they obsessively protect and care for years. However, the last days of a female octopus after reproduction are very dark. A female octopus stops eating after laying a clutch of eggs. The female's body turns on her after the eggs hatch. Her body goes through a series of cellular suicides, beginning with the optic glands and spreading outward through her tissues and organs until she dies. In 1977, psychologist at the Brandeis University Jerome Wodinski showed that something interesting happens, if the optic gland was removed from female two-spot octopus. The optic gland, which lies between the eyes, is similar to the pituitary gland of most land animals. Without them, the female octopuses discarded their eggs, resumed feeding, and some even mated again. Wodinski and other cephalopod biologists concluded at the time that the optic gland must secrete some sort of self-destruct hormone, although it was uncertain what it was or how it operated. A recent research from the University of Chicago Neurobiologists, uses the latest tools for genetic sequence to identify a number of distinct molecular signals produced by optic gland after a female octopus reproduces. The research, published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, also describes four different phases of maternal activity and connects it with certain signals. This indicated how the optic gland regulates the death of a mother octopus. The scientific team also finds out why these smart, resourceful animals reach such an untimely end. Octopuses are cannibals, so a biologically engineered death spiral could be a way to prevent mothers from eating their young. But imposing our human perception on the cephalopod world is not reasonable. The octopus also probably has self-models. It possesses information about itself and about the outside world, and that information results in complex behavior. They are the nearest we will ever get to seeing an intelligent alien. There is much more to be known about these mysterious deep-sea thinkers.